Hey everyone, Red here and I have another build for you to try on your games and today we have the Bring the Scourge Bubba build. So let's go ahead and break it down. For our first Scourge perk, we're going to be bringing a Monstrous Shrine. Scourge hooks grant 20% faster enemy progression if the killer is not within 24 meters. Also, this makes basement hooks count as scourge hooks, and we all know that Bubba loves the basement. Next, we have Floods of Rage. Whenever a survivor is unhooked from a scourge hook, all other survivors will have their auras revealed for 7 seconds. Third, we're bringing Gift of Pain. Whenever a survivor is unhooked from a scourge hook, they will suffer the hemorrhage and mangled status effect until they're fully healed. And the first time the survivor is healed, they suffer a 16% speed penalty to healing and repairing actions until injured again. This works out really well with Bubba since he's an insta-down killer. He can get the max value out of Gift of Pain. And last but not least is the nerfed but still pretty decent Pain Resonance. Anytime a survivor is hooked on a Scourge Hook, the generator with the most progress is going to explode instantly losing 15% progress and will begin to regress. As far as the add-ons today, I'm running my favorites, which is the Beast Marks and the Knife Scratches to increase the Chainsaw Sweep movement speed by a total of 5%. This will require you to charge your chainsaw by an additional 28%. But that's today's build. Now, let's go ahead and bring the Scourge to some survivors. All right, and we got Badum Preschool. All right, I don't mind number one compared to the others since we have a little bit more of an open area. We started in this corner, so they're going to spawn directly in front of us, or hopefully off to the right. They could spawn to directly our right, which would be the worst spot, since I'm venturing out this far. But let's hope that's not the case. I don't want to play in buildings anyways, if I can avoid it. Yeah, we got one on a gen here. Cool. Someone also just ran past me, so we have two people over here. I'll take a free break. I gotta be careful, you can always take this vault. Nope, good. Smart. I rushed that last token there. Come on, I should be able to get this in time. Yep. What he needed to do there was actually take a little bit of time and maybe try and set up some kind of like actual fast vault. Where'd he go? Dude, vanished. Oh, here he is. Tenacity Gamer? Hello? Well, the hard part of the build's over. Because now we get everything off of our Scourge Hooks. We get a little bit of regression. Monster's Trend is going to make him his hook state decay quicker. And then we have Floods coming up here in a little bit for information. And since we are playing Bubba, Gift of Pain is amazing. Because, again, if they ever heal up, we can still insta-down them. And we still get full value of Gift of Pain if they do heal. Thank you, Dwight. And we have a Scourge Hook right over here. That feels good. Ooh, okay, so they just got the save. I don't see the other one. So I'm not sure where our fourth survivor is. I know the two just got off a hook. We have her over here, but she is by Shaq. Unless she, maybe she didn't go in Shaq. Nah, I'm really not too worried about it. I don't really want to be by Shaq if I can help it. No one's on that gen either. We can kind of cut back through and go through the middle section here. I do want to keep my distance for Monster Shrine. Could be up in that building. We do have one here. We'll double check this corner, Jen, since it's unsafe. Nope. Oh, they're in the bottom right here. Okay. So, I got an idea where everybody's at. That feels good. We're really going to try to avoid uh, Shack if we can, along with any houses that have upstairs. I see. They could be going for the save right now. And he went to stage two pretty quick. That's Monster Shrine right there. Ooh, this could be good. All right. Oh, she's sleeping. Yeah, you better make sure I commit to that. Ooh, no flashlight. This hook is getting a lot of use so far, and I like it. All right, let's get rid of this pallet for later. 
I don't mind playing over here on this side. It's pretty much one big dead zone, and that's what we like as Bubba. She's gonna move around, I bet. Let's see. Ah, perfect. Okay, back around, and then faked. Okay. I should be able to catch this with speed. Yep. It's the nice thing about those speed add-ons. They allow you to catch up and play around so many tiles. It's great. Okay, where are we going? He's actually running straight through. Such a rough call for him. Unlucky. Just play it patiently. Two and three. He can't do it no more. That is rough, my man. Jonah! I got just the place for you, my dude. Alright, that works. Ooh. And Dwight, you are dead. Well, I believe I've done pretty much chainsaw only this whole game, so might as well. Whoa. Little laggy there. Someone kicked the router. Alright, they get the save there. I get the scourge hook here. It does remove it, but I get a little bit of regression. They should be going for the save now. Oh, yeah. Maybe? Big values? Can't tank this, bud. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> your uh, your brief borrowed time literally does nothing against Bubba. Double Scourge. And we can go ahead and check and see if he has Decisive Strike. But a lot of people aren't bringing it now, so why not? Yep. Alright, and it sounds like she's killing herself on hook, so we just gotta find this last survivor. Oh, I hear footsteps. There you are. I was wondering. Oh, I'm coming for you. Perfect. Alright, so she's went to corner a few times. I think I've managed to trick her to finally getting away out of this corner. Ah, she knows. She's trying to do it again. No. She wanted to be, like, I guess slugged out, but I want to get the game over with. So, up you go. And a little love tap for being annoying and going to the corner. Alright, that was a lot of fun though. Let's go ahead and move on to the next game. Oof, we got Larry's. This is a this is a pretty rough map typically for Bubba, but we'll see what we can do. Hopefully this main section here does have basement. Let's see if we maybe get into a quick chase. I don't see one really here at the moment. I have one gen that's actually far away that I have zero interest. That gen right there I have zero interest in. Okay, let's cut back through. Actually, I can play at this gen. I can't play at that one. Ooh, hi, Jeff. We're going to definitely have to pay attention here. There's so many things to get caught on in this map. Vault. Nice. There we go. That's good. That's actually great. <clears throat> I can take the time now to maybe venture out to this gen just to see if, like, the majority of them spawned here. If not, again, I have really zero interest in it. Yeah, okay. That's good for me. And that's better. Ooh. We got two survivors on gens. He's running away from us. We can pr get more pressure by pushing this guy off a of gen. And we can push him in the opposite direction here. Hi. He thought I went the other way. I didn't see him moving there, so... Unlucky for him. Great for us. And another Scourge Hook, which is even better. Because that other gen should have the most progress. And we can hit it with the uh, Scourge Pain Res. Nice. Ooh, hello, Ace. We can chase him this way. That way we get him to drop the pallet. Good. Uh, I don't know if I really want to break this with a chainsaw or fake the chainsaw into a kick. Uh, I should have done a chainsaw. Open actually a little quicker. That's okay, though. I'm okay with swapping here for sure. Where are we heading off to? Nice. We just got to do a little bit of a mind game here. Got him. Ace, I know you're here. Hi. Nice flashlight. I'll take the pallet. 
We can actually chase him down for a second in case he drops something else. Nope. Yeah, let's go ahead. We can hook Ace either right here or on the Scourge that's nearby. I might be able to get both. That'd be actually really good. No, they got him up. Wait, wow. That might either be unbreakable or no, maybe someone was over there with will make it. Or we're gonna live forever, sorry. Ooh, I'm cut off over here. That feels bad. Where are we? Oh, hi. I mean, I can go for you. Why not? Okay, can I maybe get around? Ah, uh, not really. That sucks. Oh, well. We well, yeah, so when we came back to this gen. I'll take it. Oh, he's not moving forward. Let's double back. Uh, All right. And honestly, yeah, right back to a skirt hook. This is good. The skirt hooks are a good placement, though. If they were all on one side of the map, it'd be pretty rough. Yeah, why don't you let that one regress for a bit, Ace? He didn't. Oh, there he is. I thought he didn't continue for a second. It's still pretty brave, even if he has off the record. Yeah, he gambled it. Yeah, nope. That's what I thought. Yeah, he does have off the record. Fair enough. I'm over it. I have one going to the left, which makes sense. So right here. And we have someone here, even better. Hi. I mean, that works. I should have went for Jeff, I guess, but he might have decisive. Even though I really shouldn't worry about it too much more. Come on. So close. Ah, he got scared. Nice. That's big. Doesn't go in the locker. Feels good. I was hoping I'd actually scare him into the locker with the chainsaw rev there. I can actually play basement. Because basement's right here, I definitely want to play around the three gen that's in this area. The gens around the basement here are probably the most important to me. At least during this game. Let's just go ahead and get some of these gens regressing if they're nearby. It's not a lot, but again, we've already kind of decided that like one or two gens we're probably going to give up because we just don't care about. Nice. It's fine. I don't want to chase that too much more, yeah. It's just not really worth it. We can clear out this pallet. We can keep this area pretty safe to us. Oh, that is almost done. Oh my gosh. That's risky, though. Like, don't be wrong. Him doing that, like, it's not the worst call in the world. I'm not at a really good angle. He could hop in the locker. I do got to keep in mind that... Yeah, let's go ahead and tag this real quick. Okay. I'm over it. I want to get my uh, survivor out of the game. I know I'm giving up the guy who's in the basement. But this guy is also dead on hook. So, much more valuable. Alright. Okay, Ace has got... Oh, it's not Ace. Is that Dwight? Yeah. I might be able to play on this. We'll see. He might have more stuff to work with. Oh, darn. Yeah, this area right here is really bad. Trying to go around these walls here is, like, just evil. You get caught on, like, the slightest of turn. Okay, we have to venture over to this one gen. I don't have an interest in necessarily, like, keeping the gen, but since no one's over here, they can all be here, and I still want to provide some pressure. Yeah, we got two here. If I can chase them towards the other gen, so that'd be perfect. Ace is hiding. We're gonna definitely gonna go for him. Okay. Yeah, I don't got a problem. We're losing the one gen. That's fine. I have zero interest in it. I just want to encourage him to stay here. Oh, wow. A little finicky on that one. Thank you. We can get rid of it for now. And he is running to the right, which is good. This is where we want him to run. That gen barely has any progress. 
That gen has a little bit, so someone might have been working on it. Take the vault. Good. And now he's in basement. Cool. I'll take it. That works for me. Because now we got him into the skirt show territory. We got him in basement. And we got our three gen around us, which is what we want. Yeah, we gotta get him off this gen, though. Alright, he's already moving. Let's go ahead and just hit it for 2.5. It's not a lot, but we can honestly just stay in this area. Yep. No progress on that. He can always venture back and tap it, but then we can just kick again for another 2.5. Gen tapping isn't exactly effective as much anymore. Yeah, we got all three gens watched. Go ahead, tap it. Thank you. I'll go ahead and kick it again. Why not? Where's this other Dwight at? Ah, there you are. Sprint burst, fair enough. I might be able to catch. We have both Dwight's here looking for the save, so no one's on the gen, which is great. Hey, buddy. All right, try and get into the hole. See if we can get down there. Nice, yeah, we're going to stop him from being able to get it. Guess what? Yep, same thing. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I don't get it. That's okay. But hey, man, you got nowhere to go. Hop in the locker. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Not bad. They played pretty well. There we go. Another game down and finishing the basement. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. Overall, the build's a lot of fun. Make sure to try it out in your games and let me know what you think. Much love and as always, I'm Red and I'm signing off.